Whether you're an amp sim guy or perhaps you're a tube amp guy, I've got a plugin you're going to want to check out. It's Electrum from United Plugins. This gives you everything you need in one plugin to shape awesome guitar tones. Plus, there's these two killer features that are going to help you get recording in no time. That's what I'm talking about today. I'm the Lonely Rocker. This is I Don't Have a Band, and welcome to my home studio. <laughs> I've been sitting on this one for a while, so I'm really excited to be sharing it with you guys today. And my good friends at United Plugins hooked me up some time ago with Electrum from the Muramasa team. They wanted me to really get a feel for it, and uh, I have to tell you, I really, really enjoyed it. Now, I've gone on record many times. I'm a tube amp guy. I did veer away from recording with my cabs and microphones. I go direct. I've got my Two Notes uh, products, and I've got the Hughes and Kettner amp here that's got a built-in red box. So I'm recording at night silently. I'm not pissing off the family, uh, but I've got my tube amp sound, which is what I want. Now, whether you're recording with your own tube amps and you're recording direct, or you don't have any amps and you need a good amp sim plug-in, Electrum's got you covered. Plus these two features that I alluded to in the opening, you've got EQ Match, which I'll discuss in a second, and the Input Analyzer, which automatically sets the optimal input settings. Really cool, I'm gonna demonstrate that later. So what I'm gonna do, why don't I show you a little example of something I recorded with Electrum, and I'll give you a little overview of some of the features, and when we come back, I'm gonna do a little deeper dive into the plugin. Let's check it out. Let's get into Electrum. I want to start off with those two features that I talked about in the opening. The first one is here in the input module. There's a feature here called Analyze Input Level. Let me demonstrate how that works. Before you do anything, you of course need to make sure the input level is set correctly on your interface. Click the Analyze Input Level button and strum really hard for a few seconds. Electrum will adapt to your style and dynamics, giving you a great starting point. You can also adjust the input and output levels as required, and then proceed to shape your tone with the rest of the plugin. There is also built-in limiter and bassman, which generates sub-frequencies. This works great for those single-note riff rock jams. Another great tool in the front end of the plugin is EQ matching. There are a lot of factors that go into determining guitar tone, your fingers being one of them. But if you've ever tried to match the EQ of an existing guitar sound, you know how hard it is. With the EQ matching tool, you can analyze a guitar sound by looping it through Electrum. Click the Analyze Target Sound button and loop your reference guitar for at least 7 seconds. Then replace this clip with your recorded guitar and click the Analyze Your Sound button and let it loop for another 7 seconds. <laughs> then
Then turn off the analyzer button and the plugin will attempt to match the EQ. You can then choose an amp sim that is closest to the reference sound and you're in the ballpark. You can then tweak to taste. All right, once our input is established, now let's go through the signal chain here in the plugin. I'm going to start off with the amplifier. Now, in this first example, I've recorded my guitar directly into the interface. So there's no amplifier, no pedals, no nothing. It's just clean. Let me just show you what that sounds like. So nothing exciting about that. So I'll turn on the plugin. So the amplifier and actually the cabinet module work together. So if you're using the plugin and you don't have an amplifier, you're recording direct through your interface, uh, the amp and the cabinet uh, modules here are gonna work really well together. So let me turn on the amplifier. Now if you've ever recorded an amplifier without a speaker, it'll sound something like this. Pretty awful, but then once you add your cabinet, then we start to get the tones that we've grown to know and love. Now, what's really cool about the amp module here is you've got five different flavors. Now, whether these have been modeled after specific amplifiers or it's a United Plugins own interpretation of different amplifiers, I'm gonna leave that up to you to decide. But you've got five different flavors here. Uh, the first one being blue, that's the lowest gain amplifier. And as you move up the scale here, you've got yellow, orange, red, and black, black being the highest gain amp. And then you've got a ton of settings here. But let me just walk you through uh, quickly uh, the five different uh, flavors here just in sort of uh, stock mode. So you see you've got really five distinct different amplifiers here, and then they've got a whole bunch of settings here uh, that you can tweak each one. I mean, the standard gain controls, uh, you've got bass and treble and middle, so your three band EQ. Uh, tight, I think, uh, tightens up the, the bottom frequencies just to clean that to bottom end a little bit. Uh, the power amp determines uh, how much distortion is coming from the, from the power amp section. Uh, balance is like a tone control. Oh, you can hear it here. <laughs> It's like a simple uh, tone control. Uh, you've got a high cut and then you've got an output here. Uh, by the way, you'll notice that a lot of the modules will have an output uh, built into each individual module as uh, some of these will create some gain. So this gives you the ability to really gain stage properly throughout the whole uh, signal chain uh, here on the plugin. Very, very handy feature. And another thing I got to mention, by the way, and as we go through the different modules, is uh, not only is there sort of a master presets here you can uh, pick from all sorts of different flavors, but every individual module has its own presets. So if you've got a particular amplifier uh, tone that you like, you can save that as its own preset, and then you can color it differently uh, with all the different modules. And each one of them, you can uh, draw from presets that are already here, or you can create your own. Virtually every model here, you can do that. So you think about the versatility in shaping tone and being able to save all of these different presets. Really, really powerful. I always say this about United Plugins. They don't shortchange you on presets, and they've really gone uh, above and beyond uh, with this plugin here. Now, the cabinet side, too, is really great, too, because uh, now it's not an IR loader. Really, I would say that's the only thing it's kind of missing. Uh, but I don't think it's necessary because you've got a ton of features here, again, to really customize that sound. I'm just going to cycle through just some of the presets just to give you an example of the impact of the, uh, the cabinet designer on the, uh, the amp or the amp sim here. So you can change your speaker. You've got the tilt here, a uh, whole assortment of different speakers here, uh, the character detail, uh, the ambience. So think about the cab sitting in a particular room, perhaps some of the room effect that sort of picked up by the virtual microphone. So you have a lot of real customization here and of course the output here to, uh, to gain stage properly. So very, very, very versatile um, cab, amp and cab combination here. Now I wanna show you the same thing here, uh, but this time I recorded with an amplifier. So let me bring that in here. So I'm gonna turn the plugin off. So that's that awful sound that comes out of an amplifier when there's no cab simulation. So what I'm gonna do here, we're not gonna turn on amp, but I can turn on the cab simulation. So 
really great. Like I said, you've got the option of bringing in a real tube amp or using the plugin or combining the two and coming up with some really unique tones. Now let's take a walk through the rest of the plugins here. I'm not going to go too deep into every one. There's just so much here, but just to give you an idea uh, what's available here. Uh, you've got the gate, which is your noise gate. If you've got a little noise coming from your amplifier, uh, you turn on the noise gate, just find that, that sweet spot where it just sort of kills that noise, that hum, but it doesn't eat your tone. Uh, really, really handy to have a gate, whether on your amp or in a plugin form. Uh, really good to have it here in the plugin. Uh, you've got a compressor here. Now, if any of you are familiar with Firepressor, I think the logic is built in here because uh, you have a choice here of uh, a few different compressors here, or you can turn them all on. And that was what Firepressor was all about, where you can blend different compressors, again, coming up with sort of unique flavors. So uh, United Plugins is borrowing from themselves, it seems, and giving us some great value here in the plugin. Uh, doubler. So if you want to get sort of that big, fat guitar sound, you can double it. Again, a few different styles here from tape, spectral, multi, things like that, and a couple of settings here to really to dial that uh, into taste. And then you've got a whole modulation engine here with all your modulation effects like chorus and flanger, phaser, tremolo, things like that. Really, the options here are, are almost endless here. Uh, Ottawa. Uh, I love my Wawa, actually, and then that little jam in the opening, that little solo, I use the Ottawa feature. Again, you have a few different uh, bunch of presets here just to sort of sort of shape the sound of that wah and how it's triggered or how sensitive it is. Um, but again, a nice uh, guitar effect to have at your disposal. Uh, distortion, uh, that's a stomp box. So you've got three options here. You've got a boost. If you just want to really drive the amp a little bit, um, scream, I guess like a tube screamer, that'll be your overdrive. And then you've got a distortion. And again, with all of the standard um, parameters here, plus those little extra ones. Uh, corrosion is one, I think it's sort of a, sort of an, almost an analog setting, sort of a very natural, unpredictable uh, characteristics that it can bring into the tone um, luster and pre -emph or emphasis, I guess. So uh, again, some just details that you can bring in uh, to continually shape that tone further and further. So down here, we've got uh, an EQ. You've got sort of a seven band EQ with uh, frequencies that are kind of predetermined for a guitar, but there's the X factor here. This is an extra little frequency here. Now I could probably throw on a scope and figure out what it's doing, but uh, I'm gonna keep it in mystery and let you figure out, but let's listen to what it actually brings to the tone. Let's do a little shaping here first. So a really great uh, EQ as part of this bundle and it continues. Uh, you've got a delay module here. You've got a two-step delay here, so you can uh, turn one on or off. Uh, you can sync it to your project, so the repeats will time to the tempo of your project. You can have the two uh, delays playing off of each other. Uh, really, really handy, really great delay built in here. And we've got a reverb. Uh, just check out all the different reverb options here. You've got room, nonlinear hall, dark hall, cathedral, concert hall, hangar. There are a ton of reverbs here, again, with a lot of uh, parameters here to control and customize that reverb and again some of those uh, you've got saturation and you know I guess size of the room pre-delay uh, ducking uh, that's a lot of features here for a delay that's not a standalone plug-in very 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 handy and by the way did I mention the tuner maybe I did I mentioned the tuner by the way I went through this whole demo and there's a feature here that I almost missed if you take a look up here there's a little button here that says 3d you click that Look at that. If you're more of a traditional guitar player and you want to see your pedals, well, Electrum's got you covered. Now, I've got to ask them who did all of their wiring here. It looks really, really good. I actually did a video on pedal board wiring. I'll put a link in the description if you want to check it out. Uh, but I definitely want to talk to them about a recommend because uh, this looks pretty good. Uh, I know pedal order and effect order is a hotly contested debate, and maybe one of the arguments against an all-in-one is someone will say, well, you know, I have all my plugins, I can change the order the way I want, I'm not locked into the way it's presented. Well, let me show you something. Uh, all of these uh, modules here, whether it be the amp or the cabinet, any of the effects, you can change the order to your heart's content. All you do, you see this timeline up here, you can, let's say you want a gate, you want to put it on the end, no problem, move the reverb to the beginning, uh, you got your EQ if you want it up front, uh, any function of this plugin can be moved around. You can change the order so you're not really locked into the conventional order of effects. You can change it to whatever uh, is your preference and you can experiment and come up with some really uh, unique custom chains. So uh, something I wanted to make sure I mentioned. 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to show you a couple of examples that I've set up just so you can hear some clean and dirty tones, uh, some with an amplifier and some that were recorded direct, just so you can get a sense of uh, some of the different tones that you can get through Electrum. Let's take a listen. <laughs> Well, I just scratched the surface with Electrum here. Hopefully you got a sense of how much is here in this plugin. I mean, they're certainly not shortchanging you with features here. And the fact that they're borrowing from their own technology and other plugins and just giving them, giving them to you all here in one plugin. Truly amazing. If you're a guitar player, you're certainly not going to feel shortchanged. Well, but you don't have to take my word for it because United Plugins does offer free trials on all of their plugins. So I'm going to put a link in the description. Uh, make sure you check it out for yourself. And if you do, uh, let me know. That's what the comment section is for. Well, if you're new to this channel, I hope I've earned a subscribe. I've got a ton of content on this channel, a lot of it revolving around this home studio, geared to the home studio enthusiast and the home recording musician, with videos to hopefully help make your home studio life better. So perhaps you can click that subscribe button and come along for the ride. If you really want to support this channel, I am on Patreon. Links to everything I've discussed and some things I haven't are in the description below. And above all else, I hope I'll see you again in another video. As always, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And please like, subscribe, and ring that bell to stay up to date. Remember, you don't need a band to rock and roll. There are a lot of great musical projects you can do by yourself, right from your own home. I hope to see you again next time.